Oftentimes it contradicts everyday experiences, like the more you go into quantum physics, uh, the more you start to realize that, that everything is a perception and you have complete control over your state of mind. Uh, some of you might have seen that movie, What the Bleep Do We Know, which is really great because they, they'll take it and start to trace it back, even from the perceptions to the neurotransmitters and the chemistry that's going on in the brain is all connected. And then if you take it into consciousness that those, those neurotransmitters in the brain and those chemical changes in the brain and hypothalamus and everything, those are all, what did I say, the body follows instructions of the mind. What you do comes from what you think. Even the neurotransmitters in the brain and the, and the electrical impulses are all coming from consciousness. The seat of all causation, the seat of all power, comes back to the mind and consciousness. When we talk about the heart, we're talking about unification of consciousness. This is just another word. But once you start to realize that, that pain is a false perception, I mean, if I had grown up with somebody teaching me when I was little that pain is a false perception, I would probably go, ow, 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 ow. Okay. It's a false perception, what does it mean? Help me, help me, help me. Like, like uh, Eddie Murphy, help me, help me. You know, and, and if I had a nice, wise teacher, they would say, yes, your pain, your perception of pain is coming from consciousness, and it's not just your experience of your emotional pain, it's not just experience of physical pain, but if you perceive animals in pain, if you perceive anything in the entire world in pain, it's coming from perception. That takes a lot of work. That, that contradicts our human experience, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. We say, wait a minute. <laughs> you know, I just watched Aunt Edna and she doesn't walk very well and she's blind and she just stepped on my dog's tail. <laughs> and, yeep, yeep, yeep. You know, the dogs yelped and everything and it seemed like a pretty good cause and effect relationship, you know. That's like 220 pounds going down on that tail over there. <laughs> And I heard my dog yelp, and I could see what was happening. I'm no dummy, I'm a, a human being, I could see that. No, cause-effect relationships, you know, we're so wound into believing. There's causes in form, there's effects in form. Even in our sciences and our physics, for every action there's a reaction. All of science, and I'm talking Newtonian science, I'm not talking quantum, but all of Newtonian physics is false. And if anybody's going into the career of science, I, we can have a talk afterwards and I can save you a little bit of time because quantum physics is, is where it's at if you're going into science. And if you're going into spirituality, forgiveness, meditation, stilling the mind, that's where it's at. That's where it's happening. If you really want to wake up and come to that, you know, it's tried and true. It's proven. We, you know, I've, I've found it. It's, the proof is in the experience. But you can see how we have to question everything that we perceive because that gets us into false empathy when we start to empathize with pain. We're perceiving the pain and we're perceiving it as even beyond who we believe we are to be human beings. Suffering animals. I was a vegetarian for, for years. I had all the right reasons. In fact, if somebody cornered me and they said, why don't you eat that meat at this barbecue? I'd say, I'll tell you why <laughs> I'd unload for an hour or an hour and a half of all my reasons ecologically, in terms of pain, in terms of all these things. But again, I had to, to wise up. I had to get quantum. I had to go deeper inside and start to realize I have to take responsibility for what I'm perceiving. I can't put it out on them anymore. I can't blame them because the blame game is not waking me up, it's not getting me happy. I just have more grievances when I'm playing the blame game. <laughs> I get, and I get, you learn more education and more things that are happening. Ooh, conspiracies and things, <laughs> wicked things that are happening. And you just collect more grievances, more grievances, and get angrier and angrier and angrier. That's not going to get you back into nirvana or the kingdom of heaven by getting angrier. Once you start to reel it in, to start to take full responsibility for your mind in every circumstance, without exception,
then you get really happy. Because you're not gonna you're not gonna buy it. You're not gonna you're not gonna buy the bait anymore. Thank you.